Hey there, let's take a look at polynomial long division. All right, so let's say that this is our problem. So we've got this big long polynomial divided by this polynomial. Okay, the first two things we're gonna do are as follows. First, instead of writing this as a fraction, we're gonna write this under the traditional division sign. So I've got my division sign here and I moved my polynomial over here. Okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick look at what's under here and I'm gonna make sure that I have a representative for each degree. So I have an X to the fourth, but then I jump to an X squared and I do not have an X to the third. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite that section like this and then I'm gonna put back my plus X squared and my minus X to the 14th. So I'm just gonna make space for that missing degree. So there's my x squared, now I have my x to the first, and this is my x to the zero essentially, so now I have a representative for all of them. Okay, here's how polynomial long division goes. The first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna cover up this stuff and cover up this stuff and ask myself, x squared divides into five x to the fourth how many times? or another way to think of it, if you prefer multiplication, what times x squared gets me 5x to the fourth? Well, the x squared has no coefficient, so I need to multiply a 5. And then I also need to multiply an x squared into that x squared to make it an x to the fourth. So the answer to my question is I need to multiply 5x squared to x squared. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So 5x squared times x squared gets me 5x to the fourth. Now, if those aren't exactly the same, you didn't do it right, answer the question better. Okay, but we did do it right. So now we're going to continue multiplying. 5x squared times negative 3x gets me negative 15x to the third. And 5x squared times positive 1 gets me 5x squared. Okay, so now I am going to subtract this stuff from this stuff. 5x to the fourth minus 5x to the fourth gets me zero, that was the point. Zero x to the third minus minus 15 x to the third. Minus minus makes it a plus, so that's. And finally, one x squared minus five x squareds leave me minus four x squared. And now I bring my next term down. And I start again. I'm covering up this stuff. I'm covering up this stuff. I'm saying, what do I multiply x squared by to get 15x to the third? My answer is 15x. I'm going to multiply this through each term. 15x times x squared. 15x times negative 3x. Negative 45x squared. 15x times positive 1. 15x, and now I'm going to subtract. 15x to the third minus 15x to the third. There's that zero we were looking for. Minus 4x squared minus minus 45x squared. In other words, plus 45x squared gets me a very awkward 41x squared minus 14x minus another 15x minus 29x. And finally, I bring my last term down, I do it one more time. What do I multiply x squared by to get 41x squared? That's right, 41. Multiply through 41 times x squared, 41x squared, 41 times negative 3x minus 123x, 41 times positive 1 plus 41, finally subtract. 41x squared minus 41x squared, there's that zero. Negative 29x minus minus or plus 123x, 94x, and two minus 41 minus 39. And so the answer to the question, this divided by this is this remainder this or this plus our remainder divided by what we divided by.
That, my friends, is polynomial division. Now, if that seemed like a whole lot, go check out this video on synthetic division, which is how to do all of this with a whole lot less of this. All right, leave any questions you have in the comments. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel so you know when I put out a new video. And as always, keep on mathing.